government urge to act after oil giant accused of misleading public. Campaigners have urged government to intervene after oil companies were accused of misleading the public about their commitment to reductions carbon emission. Oil and gas companies, including Britain, Shell, and BP, were urged to stop their deception. This week, as the U.S. House Committee on Oversight and Reform released document showing that oil industry executives privately downplay their public message on effort to tackle the climate crisis, the memo claimed that internal BP document highlighted how carbon capture and storage, a nascent technology that involved inserting CO2 emission into underground rock formation, could enable full use of fossil fuel across energy transition and beyond. Congressional investigators also unearthed an internal shell email discussing carbon capture, utilization, and shortage, in which an executive said, "We want to be careful to not talk about CCUS as prolonging the life of oil." Gas or fossil fuel writ large, the committee said internal Shell messaging guidance developed to insulate Shell from lawsuit about green wasting and misleading investor on the climate crisis. Call on employees to emphasize that net zero emission is a collective ambition for the world rather than a Shell goal or target. The guidance tell employee, please do not give the impressions. That Shell is willing to reduce carbon dioxide emission to level that do not make business sense. In separate document, the oil company Exxon and Chevron appear to ask industry-led oil and gas climate initiative to remove language that potentially commits member to enhance climate-related governance strategy, risk management, and performance metric and targets, and to avoid any explicit commitment. For OGGI companies to align their advocacy with their climate-related position, including advocacy for the 2015 Paris Agreement, climate campaigner and some investor have pushed energy companies to commit to more ambitious emission reduction targets. The activist investor followed this House table resolution at shareholder meetings in attempt to get company to agree to targets in line with the Paris Accord. Shell lost a landmark ruling in Dutch courts last year, when a judge ordered it to cut its global carbon emission by 45 percent by the end of 2030, compared with 2019 level. Campaigner hoped the incoming chief executive, Wal Sawan, whose appointment was announced on Thursday, can increase the company's investment in green energy. The committee said. After Shell post on Twitter asking other what they would do to reduce emission, a communication executive wrote privately that he agreed this could be seen as gaslighting the public. We are, after all, a tweet like this, implying other needs to sacrifice without focusing on ourselves. He said, "My committee investigation leave no doubts that, in the words of non-company official, Big Oil is gaslighting the public." These company claim that they are part of the solution to climate change, but internal documents reveal that they are continuing with business as usual. I call on big fossil fuel company to stop their deception and cut their emission now before it is too late. A Shell spokesperson said, "Of the nearly 500,000 pages provided to the committee, the small handful they choose to highlight are evidence of Shell's extensive effort to set aggressive target." Involve its portfolio and meaningful participate in ongoing energy transition. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.